Alright guys, what is up, and I'm doing a quick little update on my prestige uh, before I get into this uh, video. And I'm finally back to 10th prestige, it's been a long road and uh, a lot of playing time, that's for sure. And um, in case you guys didn't know, I've already been to 10th prestige once, and I used a prestige token to reset my stats when I was 10th prestige. So this is actually my second time prestiging the 20. Uh, overall on this game I have a total of 18 days and six sorry um, 20 hours of total playing time on all my accounts and you can see I just prestige the 20 and I've told uh, I mean I've prestige a total of 21 times so uh, I just showed my stats in the past couple seconds hopefully you guys got to see them uh, I spent my last prestige token on uh, the hardened uh, package so all it comes with is a title and emblem it comes with this little gold skull right here and it comes with a, a little uh, money title that says pure talent which I think is kind of cool I kind of like the title but let's get into the end of day three of the uh, ghost town um, little series I'm doing so in case you guys were wondering where day two was um, I actually didn't play Call of Duty yesterday so that's the reason why I didn't have a video so this is the end of day three and um, in case you guys don't know what this series is or you missed the first video, um, what I've been doing is that I am going to play a, an extremely defensive and somewhat campy play style for the next um, seven days, which this is day three, so only another four more days. And I'm going to see how much my KD improves from the first day to the seventh and see how uh, if I want to stay this play style and, you know, just see how much my stats can go up. It's just kind of... It's just kind of showing, um, setting a bar and seeing how much I can do, and uh, I don't know, it's just kind of for fun, I guess, and uh, just kind of see what the outcome could uh, be out of this. So, on the first day, my KD was a 4.28. It is now currently up to a 4.32, so it's gone up four points within two days, which is pretty impressive. Um, hopefully, it continues to rise. As, um, I've noticed with my playstyle that. I do get bored from time to time, and from time to time, I still make the mistake in moving around a bit. And I've been catching myself and, you know, telling myself a lot lately to uh, play a little more defensive because I'm not quite used to it. And, um, you know, it does take some getting used to, and, you know, it is a bit boring at times. But for the most part, it is really beneficial because I've been winning pretty much all my games. And uh, the only games that I've been losing are the solo games. So, uh,. You know, you can't always carry your team to victory um, when you're playing solo, no matter how much or, you know, I guess how good you do. I, I've been losing uh, some odd TDM games here and there, but for the most part, I've been playing in a full party. And this gameplay right here has a little surprise ending. The final score in this game, I believe, is 20-1, and one, which was uh, actually the final score in it. But the game doesn't get to finish because uh, the host does me a big favor, and he goes ahead, and uh, he's on the other team, and he dashboards. Which is always, you know, a good time. Uh, glad to see that, you know, they haven't fixed that problem since, like, Call of Duty 4. But, uh, like I said, guys, I didn't play yesterday, so that's why I didn't have a video out. Even though I will have a video out for every single day at the end of every single day. So, uh, this is the end of day 3 for the, um, I'm gonna call it the Ghost Town. Because, uh, a lot of people, well, I noticed a couple people asked why I chose that as my title. And the reason I did that is because it is kind of like a ghost town, my playstyle, where I barely see anyone. Some games I only see like, you know, 10 enemies and I only really get 10 kills every TDM. And, uh, you know, I'm, I've been playing so defensively, you know, it's kind of like a ghost town out here. I have my assassin on, you know, I'm just chilling, blind eye. And it's kind of cheap, don't get me wrong, but I don't think I'm going to stay to this playstyle for good. I think I'm just going to, you know, try it out for this week and see how much I like it. And uh, see it, um, you know, how much it improves my KD. Just to see, you know, if I'm going to keep using this playstyle in the future or, you know, go back to my normal playstyle. Even though my normal playstyle isn't really extremely aggressive, it's still somewhat defensive. But, um, you know, this right here is super defensive. This is like, you know, just chilling in the back of the spawn, kind of, you know. Which I don't really completely agree with that because that kind of. I don't know. I guess you're entitled to play any way you want, but at the same time, it's sometimes it gets too boring. And this gameplay, I, this one's a little more action-paced. Um, you know, I tried to find a gameplay where I wasn't camping too much, but this is the end of the game here as I get my second Reaper and the uh, host decides to dashboard. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and uh, have a nice day, guys. Peace.